Hey there friends, welcome back. I'm Courtney for Breakaway on a Budget and today I am doing a ultimate winter packing in just a personal item. I gave myself this huge challenge to help you guys out. You guys are excited for it, so let's get to it. Hey travelers, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be packing the Underseat Pro rolling personal item with my winter clothes. Now this was difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I do not like packing for winter. I don't like packing heavy, bulky clothes. So I'm gonna show you how exactly I did it. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I packed and hopefully this helps you with your winter packing. Before we get into that, don't forget that today's video is a giveaway video. If you have not heard of the Underseat Pro luggage, I'm going to be packing this today, the rolling personal item. I'm giving one away for the month of December. Details are further in this video. I will put a timestamp right here around when the giveaway details are. This is open internationally, but you will have to pay shipping if you are an international winner. This is local to the continental United States. This is not sponsored by Underseat Pro or YouTube. This is my own free personal person doing this because I'm so excited for you guys. I love this community and I just wanted to give something back to you. So let's get packing. So what exactly am I packing? I do have a vest I want to take with me. I will probably be wearing a jacket and if it's cold I'm going to pull this out. If not I'm going to have it packed away. I have a tank top that I can put under some clothes if I get cold. And I have a pair of pajamas. That's shorts and a t-shirt. They're pretty thick shorts too. Move that out of the way. I have two pairs of jeans. They are kind of thin jeans, but these are pretty thick too. So two pairs of jeans, two pairs of leggings, because I am a millennial mom and I live in leggings my socks and underwear and then I have I tried to grab the thickest tops that I have I don't have very thick tops so I do have a thin long sleeve shirt I do have a thicker sweater then I have more of a sweater with a hood on it then this is a zip up sweater and then just another pullover sweater that I have. These are my thickest items that I have. So I wanted to show you what I can do with the thick winter packing. First things first, we always wanna pack our bulkiest items. So we're gonna be starting with our jeans. So with our jeans, I like to fold them in half and then I roll them. So I like to stop the legs a little bit before the top of the jeans so they're not overlapping too much. Smooth everything out so you have a nice little rectangle here. We'll fold in this crotch area when we get down to it. So from the top, I like to do a fold roll. You'll see what I mean. So I fold it over and I roll the fold. So I'm getting down here, so I just pull this over. So I keep a nice rectangle shape. Then you have this little kind of burrito. And this is how I like to pack. You can fold, you can do an army roll, whatever you are comfortable with and what works for you. This is what works for me, and it may not be the best for you in your suitcase. So with this, I'm just rolling it again, tucking in the crotch, and I have a nice little jean burrito. If you have not watched my last video, go ahead and watch that. I'll have it in the links below. It goes over this Undersea Pro luggage. So let's get it unpacked, fold it up, because you know it's foldable. It, you can throw it under your bed, unhook the compression straps that everybody loves. So with this, it does have the handle on the back. So they're gonna have a cavity in the interior here. So you can see where the cavity is. There's one here, one here, and one here. We're gonna put our jeans in the cavities. 
So this one, I'm gonna put it in here and make sure it fits. This came a little bit unrolled. Make sure it fits in the cavity. Same with this one. Make sure it fits in the cavity, push it one way or the other so it's very snug and you have all this extra room. Now with the cavity in between here, it is smaller. So I'm gonna put smaller items in here. I'm going to put my leggings in here. I have two pair, they will both fit together right there. So same thing with my leggings. Lay them out. I will fold them halfway. And you can fold from the top or the bottom, doesn't matter. Tuck in the crotch. These, I do a full roll. Pulling back, smoothing, so we get a great little roll. And if I need to smash it down, when we put it inside, I will. So this is what we're looking for. And same thing, I'm gonna pull this up, not quite to the top. I'm rolling the opposite way, top to the bottom. I'm rolling to you guys. Tucking as you go. So we have a nice rectangle shape. Nothing sticking out on the end, no blowouts, a nice little roll. The back see here, we have this chasm right here. So you have a, there's gonna be a little bit of a bump right here, which is where this hardware is. So this is easy to tuck in here in between. I do the same with my other. Tuck it right in and they fit very nicely. So now I need something smaller that's going to fit in these places right here. Before I get any further, I'm going to pack my wet wipes in one of the zipper pockets here. These do not go through the TSA security. You don't have to pull them out. They're not considered a liquid. So that can go right. Then I have my Keep Going First Aid kit. This Keep Going First Aid, it is a family owned mom and pop shop local to Orlando, Florida. I got the second to largest first aid kit and it is so cute. They have a lot of different prints. They have a explanation on how to use their tick remover and then a list of the contents on what's in their go kit. It has a very nice strap on it. And I'll just show you real quick what's in here. So you have some tape, some fun stickers, holding it upside down. These are hand sanitizers, some lip balm, a bunch of different band-aids, knuckle band-aids, butterfly band-aids, and they keep going. Some ibuprofen, non-aspirin, a bunch of fun band-aids for the kids. And over here you have anti-itch cream, first aid burn cream, alcohol prep wipes. There is another flap on it. The more fun band-aids, some antibiotic ointment, and then in here they have a tick remover which I've already used and it works fabulously. The scissors and a little sewing kit. Some safety pins, some cotton swabs. This is TSA approved. You can't take this on an airplane. I do have a code for you to use for your purchases of this. I'm not an affiliate of this. I do not get paid for this. I just really love this and I love mom and pops and I love helping out mom and pop companies. So I highly recommend this and you know I don't recommend anything that I would not use myself. Case in point, I've already used this. So I'm gonna be grabbing my smaller items which is gonna be my tank top. And again, just fold this into a rectangle shape the size I need it and roll this down. Smoothing down so we don't have any lumps. And put this right in here where there's a little space. Next will be my t-shirt. I do have these lines in between so I'm going to stuff it long way so it fits in there. You can fold this any way you want. Just fold it very easily into a rectangle. I'm gonna want to keep it thin, so I'm not gonna fold it again. So I'm just gonna roll from the top. So it's a longer roll, but it's a thinner roll, so it'll fit in a thinner space. Makes sense? Put this. I'm gonna put right 
in here. Then I'm gonna find my thinnest top. My thinnest top, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put that in the other little nook that I have. Spread it out so you have a nice flat. Now with this, I'm not gonna get very technical. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way that I use to fold this. I'm just taking the sleeves, make sure it's not flipped around, crossing it over. Taking the other sleeve, crossing it over. Make sure you grab the corner with the sleeve and your shirt, grabbing the shoulder, flipping it over, and you have a pretty square top. Now it's not perfectly square, but that's okay. Then I'm just gonna roll it. Roll from the top all the way to the bottom. And I have a little hanger here. So this is gonna go into my little slots that I have left. So this is what the base layer looks like. It's nice and even and flat. Usually if I'm traveling with my laptop, I will put my laptop right here and then put the second layer of clothes over top of it. I have TSA pre-check, so I do not have to take my laptop out. If I did not have pre-check, I would put this on top of my second layer of my clothes so I can pull this out very easily. But now comes kind of a tricky part. But now I'm just going to stuff some of my undergarments in here. I don't really fold my underwear, my socks. They're very easy just to stuff in the nooks and the crannies. And I do have a pair of wool socks for you guys, my only pair of wool socks. I'm trying to find things that are wintry. So there we go. We have a nice, full, even layer. I'm going to start on my sweaters. And again, these aren't very thick, but they are thicker than t-shirts that I have been packing for winter travel. So this is, I layer in winter, so this is what I'm going to be wearing. So for this, it has like a neck that you pull, so I'm just folding that down. And again, we can just crisscross the arms, fold it over, and then roll it from the top to the bottom. More of a fold roll, if you know what I mean. So then you have kind of a squish burrito that I'm just gonna layer when I have, where I have room on top. I'm gonna start in the middle. Same with all the rest of these. So this is my top that has a zipper on it. Most of these come from Reese's, if anyone is wondering. Fold this down, cross my arms. Oops, don't let it. Put it over, fold, row, fold, row. So you can see this one didn't fold or roll very well. So I'm gonna leave this out so I can manipulate it a little bit differently if I need a different kind of space. And that's okay if you fold this and you don't get it right and you have leftover clothes, just try it a different way. That's perfectly fine. This is basically a game of Tetris. If you have played Tetris all your life, like I have, again, I'm folding this, the hood down. If you've played Tetris your entire life, like I have, this is nothing but a big game of Tetris. Do not let packing intimidate you. It is not that hard to do. You just need to do it. The best advice I have is to make a list. If you'd like me to make a video on how to make a list, let me know. I take things for granted that I know how to pack, I know how to make a list, I know a lot of things on traveling that a lot of people don't know. So unless you guys tell me, I, I apologize, but I don't know what you guys need to know. I don't want to insult you by assuming you don't know something. So if there's something you have a question on or you really want me to make a video on, just feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram or Facebook or even drop a comment in the videos and I will be glad to get back to you. I comment and try to get back to anybody that ever asks me questions. 
and I try to be very prompt. Again, just crossing over, folding in half, do a row, row and fold. And we're just adding this where we have space. Now I'm down to my sweater that I have that's big and bulky. I have my vest and my sleep shorts. My sleep shorts I can roll and I see a space for them. It's a little space. But if you see there's a space right here between the top and the edge of this sweater that I can push down a little bit more. Don't be afraid to push and manipulate your clothes either. So for this, I have just pretty thick shorts. Fold it in thirds and roll it and roll it. So it's very sloppy, very thick, but it does the job. It fits into this space quite nicely. So now we have two items left, plus our pre-check bag. So we wanna take a look at what we have. So we have space here and along here and a little bit here. We're gonna have plenty of space. And we can't forget, I need bras. So I'm gonna pack a couple bras in here later. They are drying right now, forgot to grab them. So I'm not worried about this being not packed very well. I'm going to push and manipulate these sweaters so they go where I want them to. Now don't forget, we have our compression straps. I'm going to fold this vest, and if I needed to, I could take this out and wear it through the airport. I'm going to zip it up so it stays together. It's very slicky, slick material. It's from Old Navy. Just one of their vests, regular vests. So I'm gonna fold this one in half. I don't want this to be bulky because I am at the top of my suitcase packing. So I don't want it thick. I want it to be more smooth. So we're going to actually fold this one. I know, I know, I know. Folding with me, it's fine. So fold it more in thirds or fourths. Make sure you're holding it because it does want to unfold itself there. So you end up with this nice square and that's nice and thin so it can compress down with the straps. I'm going to put it just completely opposite way that everything else is going. Why not? So this is our finished product. Now don't forget you have your 311 bag. This is a nice freebie that you get with this bag. It is the Underseat Pro 311 pre-check bag. It is clear, it has these handles on it, so it's easy to grab and go. So that's a nice freebie that they add. So I'm gonna put it right on top here. Now grab your compression straps, loosen them up. Same on this side, hook them in. Now I have my 3-1 bag up here, which is nice because when I unzip it, I can just grab it out real quick if I went through regular airport security. Compression straps on the back, loosen them up a little bit. If you loosen them the whole way, they're really hard to grab a hold of the end and pull, so make sure you have at least an inch left of this strap. Hook them together, grab this side, grab this side, and pull. Now you can rock it back and forth to get a little more compression. Same with this one. Now be careful if you do have a laptop in here, you don't want to smush it. Now, what did I just say? Not to do this. Put it the whole way. There we go. So, same with this. Pull it, one side, then the other, then the other, then the other. And you can pull these pretty tight. So let me close this. I like to have my zippers up top, so I'm going to zip the sides up. Now, sometimes you do, they are a little hard to zip because of the way they are packed, and if you do pull them, the compression strap pretty tight, which is what I have done. 
stuff, just watch and be aware that, you know, if you do have this packed to the brim like I do, it will be a little bit difficult. But there you go. And they come together so you can put a lock on here if you wanted to. I have room, I could put my laptop in here if I needed to. And that interior is also gray. So I am ready to go. Don't forget your two free luggage tags that also come with this. They're under seat pro. They're super nice. They're leather like. So let's talk about this giveaway. This is open internationally, but international winners will have to pay their own shipping. It is local to the continental United States. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel below the title of this video on the right hand side. If there is a red button that says subscribe, that means you're not subscribed to my channel. Click on that and it will ask you if you want a notification for all my videos or just some. If the button beside this video title is gray and it says subscribe, you're already subscribed to my channel and I thank you so much for helping me and supporting me. This has been absolutely mind-blowing that over 1,400 people want to hear my opinion and that I am helping you. It is seriously mind-blowing. Thank you so much. I love this community that we have built and I want to give back and this is me giving back to you. So what else do you have to do? Make sure you also comment below the video. I will have a random comment picker whether I respond to your comment or not, you will be entered. You comment, you enter. It's as simple as that. And I want you to tell me a random act of kindness that you have done this holiday season. Or if you don't celebrate the holidays, just tell me a random act of kindness that you have done this year. Also, let me know any kind of videos that you would like me to make in the future that you are struggling with, that you need advice with. Would you like to do a live Q&A session? I'm open for anything. I want to make sure this channel is helpful and informative for you, my subscribers and my viewers. So thank you guys and good luck.